eight pack. So, uh, this is kind of a review vlog on the Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. So I'm going to do my best to be spoiler free. Um, so because of that, I have to be slightly vague. Overall, the movie was good. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. And that's, of course, my opinion. I, I felt the movie could have been more. And what was funny is I went watching with my husband and my cousin. And we were thinking, you know, we couldn't really think what they needed to added, to added, to have added to the movie to make it better. And so I was like, I'm not overwhelmed, I'm not underwhelmed, I'm just kind of whelmed, as uh, Young Justice Robin would say. But I, I thought of one thing at the time that I thought the movie could have used to be better, and that is um, some kind of cute mascot-ish kind of thing. You know, something that captures the hearts of the kids and those who like furries, fuzzies, cutie little pets, you know, where's the baby Yoda? <laughs> I know his name's Grogu, okay? I know that. But, you know, where is that for the movie? And I felt like it was a long movie. And not in a bad way long, like it wasn't boring. But even though it was long, it some things felt rushed. So I didn't I didn't feel like I had a chance to try and develop a relationship, I don't, I don't, empathy with the characters as much. I mean, the main character, Chris Pine's character, yes, you get to, you know, really get to know him and kind of relate to him and feel, you know, what he feels and stuff like that, which is great. But for the rest of the people, it was kind of, oh, here's some sad story or, Oh, here's some tragic background, or, oh, <laughs> you know, this is my struggle, and, you know, it, it didn't feel like the characters got to be fleshed out the way that, uh, you know, maybe the writer intended. I loved one of the characters. I will not say what role she played, but she was the redhead, and so when you see the redhead, you know that's the character I loved. She was my favorite. Um, she was, oh, uh, she was in the movie It, so I can't remember her name, I'm sorry, but, uh, I loved her in It, and, you know, she played the only real main character that was a girl, you know, the kid, and anyway, my point is, um, I started thinking and pondering over what really made the movie bad, and, okay, not bad, but not as iconic as I felt like it could have been. I felt like it had all the right workings, the graphics, the story, the, the, the danger, the adventure. It had a lot of the things that I would, that any good D and D campaign would have. And I was like, okay, what is it that's really missing? And it kept coming back to basically the relationship. I never really got to emotionally harmonize with these characters. It's like, I won't say who, but one of the characters had some of their backstory come up with another character that gets introduced. And so there's that nice little twist of plot. And so, you know, but both female characters, though they're awesome and kick butt and, you know, do all the stuff they need to do and, you know, have really cool scenes, I also felt like they didn't get fleshed out as much as they could have. And, you know, I just, especially the redhead, I didn't, you know, I liked her character. I liked what she mentioned about her backstory, but I felt like we needed some flashbacks or something. I, I don't know, some people hate flashbacks, but something to really let us connect. And 
you know, just a little bit more. Just, you know, I'm talking five minutes worth of content to just connect. And then to have that, because, okay, the thing that's going to get this big money is merchandise. That's, that's where the money comes. It's, you know, it's not the cart Pokemon cartoon that makes all the money. It is the merchandise that makes the money. So they really need, and hopefully they get a second movie because I really enjoyed it. I want to own it. I love the acting. I love the story and I would love to see more. There were several things that were just like a D&D campaign to me and they just hit that sweet spot and I was having nostalgia bursts through the whole thing. I was like, this is great. This feels like a campaign, This, you know, and especially because there's things that get screwed up. So I don't think that's much of a spoiler. You know, the, not everything goes perfect, just like real life, just like a D&D campaign. And the DM has to kind of adapt and adjust and shift the story. And it kind of felt like that a little bit. And, you know, just one of the NPC characters is what I'm going to call him who comes in and he's like awesome and <laughs> it's just you know really well done but they need to get something that's whether it's like a pet or just something that's likable that's you know with them with the party with the group or one of the characters really get them endeared to us more I'm sorry, I keep shaking the phone, <laughs> but I just, that's to me what needs to happen. So, you know, I still rate it as a great movie, but it's not epic. And that made me a little sad. You know, I really wanted to like it more than I did, but like I said, I don't hate it. And they had this whole opening thing thanking you for seeing it in the theater. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm going to say you don't need to see it in theater. Yes, there's some good scenes, but to me, it's it wasn't epic scale enough to be like, oh, I need to see this in theater. I'd have been fine watching it at home, especially because it was long. I would have liked to be able to pause it, take a bathroom break, you know, not feel like I had to be uncomfortable kind of in the seat because now the seats are comfortable. <laughs> it depends on which one you go to, but... Okay, I think I've rambled enough. So, you know, I give it an 8. 8 out of 10. So it's not bad. I, you know, I love it and I'll definitely watch it again. <laughs> but I'll probably watch it in segments now that, you know, once I own it. Because I don't have to watch it all in one sitting. But, you know, who knows? Maybe if I watch it a few more times, I'll come to appreciate what they did put into it and my score might go up. You know, that's the thing that I feel like a lot of people don't give movies a chance to objectively and constructively give criticism, you know, instead of just being destructive with the criticism. <laughs> so, anyway, ta-ta for now. Howl at the moon.